Good day, we'll discuss voting systems. So a voting system is a way for a group of people to select one from among several possibilities. So in this video, we will discuss these five voting methods. First one is the majority method. Second one, the plurality method. Then we'll have the plurality method with elimination. And then the board account method. And the last is the pairwise comparison or head-to-head -head method. So let's start first with the easiest one, the majority method. So of course, when we say majority, it is the candidate who has more than 50% of all the votes. So if that is the case, then of course, the one who got 50% or more than 50% of all the votes will be the winner. So this is the easiest method in announcing or declaring the winner. Now let's have this first before discussing the second to fifth example or methods. So we have a preference or preferential ballot. So these are ballots in which voters choose not only their favorite candidate, no, so not their first choice, but they actually order or rank all of the candidates from their most favorite to their least favorite. So say for example, we have this. Suppose an election is held to determine which bag of candy will be opened. Each voter is asked to fill in the following ballot by marking their first, second, or third. So since there are only three candies, of course, we have first, second, or third. But if there are four, then of course we have fourth. If there are five, then we have fifth, and so on. So this is an example of a preferential ballot. Okay, and the, in the preference part, uh, the voter will just label if this is their first choice their second choice or their third choice okay so it's up to the voter so again this is an example of a preference ballot so say for example we have this this uh, ballots these are ballots cast for the candy election so from this so the table below shows the voters specific ranking of the bugs so, of course, there are three choices. So, let's label them the first, the second, and the third. And the voters are Anne, Bob, Chloe, Dylan, Ellie, uh, up to Riley. So, it means that Anne voted Candy C or the Crunch as her first choice, the Sneakers as her second choice, and the Miniature as her third choice. For Bob, the first choice is his first choice is the Miniature. miniature. His second choice is the sneaker and his third choice is the crunch and so on again these are the specific ranking of specific voters okay so now we have a preference schedule so what is a preference schedule it is a table used to organize the results of all the preferential or preference ballot so this one if you want to organize the result then of course we will use the preferential ballot or prefer a preference schedule so an example of this from here the preferential ballot the preference schedule for that one is this okay it means that there are three voters who casted miniature as their first choice Crunch as their second choice and sneakers as their third choice. Okay, there is only one voter who voted for miniature as his or her first choice, sneakers as the second choice, and crunch as the third choice. Then there are four voters who has crunch as their first choice, miniature as their second choice, and sneakers as their third choice and there is only one uh, voter who voted for crunch as first choice sneakers as second choice and miniature as third choice and then last there are nine voters who vote sneakers as their first choice 
miniature as their second choice, and crunch as their third choice. So again, the numbers here are the number of voters, and these on the left are their ranking, the first, second, and third. So this is an example of a preference schedule. Now, let's go to our second method, the plurality method. So the candidate with the most first place, take note, first place, most first place votes wins the election. It is not a requirement for the winner to have more than 50% of the votes, votes. So majority of the votes is not a requirement. The requirement only is the one with the most first place votes. Okay. So meaning will only focus on the first place. So delete this. Delete. Do not mind the. Do not mind the other choices, the second and third. Only focus on the first choice. So from the table above, we have the following results. So let's start first with our crunch. So our crunch, we have this. We have two first choice. So we have four and we have one. So four plus one, we have five. Okay, so there are five voters who chose crunch as their first choice. Now let's go to miniature or M. So M, so we have this three and one. So three plus one is four. So there are four voters who chose miniature as their first choice. And then last, sneakers, we only have this. There are only nine, or there are nine voters who chose sneakers as their first choice. Okay, using the plurality method, again, it uh, the concern is on the first or most first place. So comparing this, crunch, miniature, and sneakers, we have five, four, and nine. Of course, the largest is nine. So therefore, using this plurality method, Sneakers is the winner and the bag that should be open. Okay, so this is plurality method. Again, the majority of the vote is not a requirement. Okay, we only focus on the most first place. So first place. Okay, to understand this further, we'll have another example. So, a table shows a preference schedule for an election for presidency in a classroom. So, we have this. So, again, do not look at the other choices. So, we will only focus on the first choice. Again, in plurality method, focus on the first choice. So, we have four candidates. A, B, C, and D. So let's look at candidate A. So candidate A, we have 23. So 23 of the voters chose candidate A as their first choice. Candidate B, there is no candidate B, so no one voted for candidate B. Candidate C, so we have 10, 1, and 9. So we have 10, 1, and 9. So 10 plus 1, 11 plus 9 is 20. And candidate D is only 5. Okay. So last is to compare. So we have 23 as the largest. Therefore, using the plurality method, candidate A is the winner. Okay, so again, in the plurality method, we must only focus on the first place. And the one with the most number of voters on the, for the first place is the winner. Okay, now let's go with the third one, plurality method with elimination. So the candidate with the majority of the first place votes wins the election. Take note, in plurality method alone, majority is not a requirement. But in plurality method with elimination, majority is a requirement. Okay? So the procedure is this. First is count the first place votes. 
So that is what we did with the plurality method. Next is to check for the majority if one of the candidates is already a um, or have the majority of the votes, then declare him or her as the winner and we're done. But of course, if there is no majority, then we will eliminate the candidate with the least number of first place. And then we will repeat steps one, two, and three. Okay, so let's have this. So again, we'll have this preference schedule for math club officers election. So the number of voters, we have this. From the table above, we have the following results. So, for the plurality method, our concern is the first choice. Okay, first choice. Okay, first choice. So, now take note that the total number of voters is 10. Ah, 14 plus 10 is 24, plus 8 is 32, plus 4 is 36. Plus 1 is 37. Of course, the majority is more than half. So 37 divided by 2 is 18.5. So more than 18.5, that is 19 and above, will be declared as the winner. Okay, so the first step is to count the number of first choice. For candidate A, candidate A, we have 14. Candidate B, we have 4. Candidate C, we have 10 and 1. So we have 11. And candidate D is 8. So we have this now for our first step. Count the number of first place for each candidate. Now, is there a candidate that already have 19 or above 19? No, so none of these candidates. So there is no majority winner. Thus, we will eliminate the candidate with the least number of first place. So the least is B4. Okay, so that is candidate B is eliminated, meaning we will erase letter B. Okay, candidate B is now eliminated. So meaning, to avoid confusion, you may write again another table. For this one, C will become a second placer and D will become a third placer for the first column. For the second column, for this one, 10 will be, uh, D will become a second placer and A will become a third placer. For this one, B is eliminated, so A will become a third placer. So here, B is eliminated, so D will become a first placer, C will become a second placer, and A will become a third placer. And last for this one, A will become a third placer. So we have now this new table. This is now our new table based on this. Since B is already deleted. So we have now three choices. So again, the majority is 18.5 above, so that is 19 or above. So let's count the number of first choice. For candidate A, only one, we have 14. Candidate C, we have 10 and 1. And candidate D, we have 8 and 4, so we have 12. Again, there is no majority winner. So, since there is no majority winner, we will again eliminate the candidate with the least number of first place. So, the smallest is 11. So, we will eliminate C. So, erase, erase, or eliminate, eliminate, eliminate C. Again, D will become the second choice. D will become the first choice and A will become the second choice. A will become the second choice, A will become the second choice, and last, D will become the first choice, and A will become the second choice. So we have now this next table. So
So we only have two candidates left, candidates A and D. For candidate A, we only have 14 first place. And candidate D, we have these. All of these are first place. So we have 10 plus 8, 18, plus 4, 22, plus 1, 23. And 23 is larger than 18.5. So now we have a majority winner. So therefore, candidate is our winner. Candidate B is our winner. Okay, so I hope you have followed the procedure. Okay, so to, to understand this further, let's have another example. So we have a preference schedule for the most preferred fast food. So A for Jollibee, B for Mang Inasal, C for Chowking, and D for Bonchon. So we have four choices. And we have this number of customers. We have 7 plus 7 is 14 plus 8 is 22 plus 5 is 27. And above, the majority must be above the half, so 13.5. So above 13.5, so majority should be 14 or above. Okay, now for A, for Jollibee, how many first placer? We only have seven. Seven chose Jollibee as a first choice of most preferred fast food. B, we have seven. C, we have 5, and D, we have 8. So, all of them are below 13.5, below so there is no majority winner. Thus, we will eliminate the candidate with the least number of first placer, or first place. So, the least is letter C, candidate C. So, erase C, C, and C. So D will become a third choice as well as here. For this one, we have B will become the, first, uh, the second choice and A will become the third choice. For here, B is the first choice now, A is the second choice, and D is the third choice since C is eliminated. So we have another table. So, C is not around anymore because C is eliminated. So, again, count the number of first place. A is 7. B is already... Ah, B, we have 2. Uh, this. So, 7 plus 5 is 12 and D is 8. Now, there is no majority winner because it's still... Or they are still less than 13.5. So, we will delete again the list. So, A will be deleted. So, A, A, A is eliminated. So, B will become the first place. D will become the second place. Here, D will become the second place. And here, D will become the second place also. So, we have this table. Okay. So the number of customers are still the same, or is still the same. So candidate, oh candidate B, uh, fast food B is B. We have 7 plus 7, so we have 7 plus 7 plus 5. Okay, so 7 plus 7 plus 5, so we have 17. And for D, fast food D, we have 8. Now this time, 17 is a majority, so B has... A majority or majority of the votes so therefore B or mang inasal is the most preferred fast food based on 27 customers okay so this is the plurality method with elimination now let's go to the fourth one Borda count method. So voters rank candidates on ballot with assigned points. So the candidate with the highest votes is the winner. So here in the Borda count method, the ranking has an assigned points or point. So meaning assign n points for the first place, n minus one points for the second place, up to one point. To the last place where n is the number of choices 
and then add the products of the points and the number of voters. So we'll understand this in the example. And the highest number of votes will be the winner. So to understand this procedure, let's let's have this. Example number one, we will still consider this one, the math club officers election a preference schedule. Now take note there are four choices. So therefore the our n is four. So this is our maximum number of points. So the first choice, of course, will receive the highest. This will become, will receive four points. The second choice will be receive three points or will receive three points. The third choice will receive two points and the last choice will receive one point. Okay, so here. Okay, now the number of voters we have 14 10 8 4 and 1 now for the computation we'll only do this no we'll just add the product so that is why we have this add the products of the points and the number of voters so here the 4 3 2 1 these are the points okay and this 14, 10, and 8, 4, and 1 are the number of voters. Now, for candidate A, look at candidate A. So, focus on candidate A. Focus on candidate A first, and then you will only also do the same with candidates B, C, and D. Now, candidate A, we have, for candidate A, there are... 14 of the voters who chose A as the first choice. So we have 14 times 4. So it's like a multiplication table. 4 times 14 or 14 times 4. So we have this. 4 times 14. Next, for the second column, we have 1. 1 point for 10. 10 customers. So 1 times 10. Or 10 voters. Next is again A. So we have 1 times A. 8. And then next, we have 1 times 4. And then last for A again is 1 times 1. Okay. So using your calculator, we have 79. Now let's go to candidate B. Candidate B. Candidate B. 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 Okay, looking at candidate B, so for this first column here, we have 3 and 14, so 3 times 14, so we have this. Next is another B, we have 3 times 10, and this B, we have 2 times 8, and then this B, we have 4 times 4, and then this B is we have 2 times 1. So, using your calculator, you have 106. Candidate C. So, focus on C. C, 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 C. So, for this column, we have 2 and 14. So, 2 times 14. Next. 4 times 10. Okay, we have this. Next is 3 times 8. This. Next is 2 times 4. And last, we have 2 times... Ah, 4 times 1. Sorry, 4 times 1. So again, using your calculator, we have 104. And last, focus on candidate D. Focus on candidate D. So for this one, we have 1 times 14. Next, D, we have 2 times 10. Then we have this 4 times 8. This is 8. 4 times 8, and then we have 3 times 4, 
and then we have 3 times 1. So we have 3 times 1. So a total of 81. Okay, so by just looking at the result, the one with the highest points is 106. So candidate B. Therefore, candidate B is the winner. Okay, now let's go to example 2. So there are 4 choices again. So N is 4, so we have 4, 3, 2, 1. So we have this 4, 3, 2, 1. So again, focus on A first. A, 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 A. So we'll compute for the number of votes or points. So we have 4 times 7. Next is for this one, 3 times 7. Then we have this, 1 times 8. And then third choice for this one, so we have 2 times 5. So use your calculator, you have 67. Next, focus on B. B, 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 B. So we have 3 times 7. Next is 4 times 7. So here, we have 2 and 8. And then 3 and 5. So 3 and 5. So, a total of 80 points. Next, focus on C. So, C first. C, we have 2 times 7. So, this one. Next is, again, 2 times 7. So, this one. Then, we have 3 times 8 for this. And then, last, we have 4 times 5. So the result is 72. And then last is D. Concentrate on D. So 1 times 7. So we have this. Again, we have 1 times 7. Then 4 times 8. And then 1 times 5. So a total of... 51. So based on this one, the largest is 80. Therefore, the most preferred fast food is B or Mang Ina Sal. Okay. Now, if there are five choices or five choices, so this will become 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. If there are six choices, then we have 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and so on. And then you apply the computation. The one with the highest points will be declared as a winner. And then the last one is the pairwise comparison or head-to-head -head method. So here we are comparing one candidate to other candidates. So one versus one. So one on one match up. So give the winner of each pairwise comparison a point, so one point if he or she is the winner, and 0.5 to both if the pair is tied. So the candidate with the most points wins. Note that the number of match-ups is given by a combination or this combination, M taken 2. So M factorial all over uh, the quantity M minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. 2 because it's a head-to-head, -head, pairwise. So where M is the number of match-ups. Uh, where M, M is not the number of match-ups. M is the number of candidates. Okay, M is the number of candidates. So example one, so preference schedule for math club officers election. So there are four choices. So here M is oh, the number of choices or candidates. So the number of choices, we have four. So four taken two, we have six match-ups. Okay, there are six match-ups. So specifically, we have A versus B, A versus C, and then A versus D. 
then B versus C, B versus D, and last C versus D. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 matchups. Now for this one, for the first table, A versus B, so you focus only to A and B. Okay. So we have here, A is higher than B, so meaning the 14 voters will be 4 in favor of letter A. Okay. Next, B is higher than A. So B is higher than A. So this 10 will be in favor of B. Okay. Next, in this column, again, B is higher than A. So 8 will be in favor of A. Next, B again is higher than A. So 4 will be in favor for B. And B is higher for, than A. So 1 is in favor of B. Obviously, this is higher. So this is 14. You may add 10 plus 8. 18 plus 4. 22 plus 1. We have 23. So for this one, B is the winner. Now next, let's have A versus C. Now take note as a shortcut, A is last no, for these three, uh, four columns. Now for the first one, A is the winner. So the 14 will be in favor for A. But for the next columns, 1, 2, 3, 4, since A is the last, therefore 10, 8, 4, and 1 will be in favor for C. So we have 10, 8, 4, 1. So again, this is 23. So C is the winner here. The same is true with A and D. Since again, D, A is the last and A here is the first. So A is 14 is in favor of A. But for the other four columns, they are in favor for D. Okay, Because A is the last one, the least favorite. So again, this is 23, so D, candidate D is the winner. Okay. Next, let's focus to B, C, B and C. Okay, B and C, B versus C. So we have B. So for the first column, B is higher, so 14 is for B. Next column, C is higher, so first place or first choice, so 10 is for C. Next, C is higher, so 8 is for C. Here, B is higher, so 4 is for B. Last, C is higher than B, so 1 is for C. So this is 18, and the other one is? 19. So the winner is C. So that is that is why we have W here. Okay, now next we have B versus D. So B is higher than D. So 14 is for B. Next, B is higher than D. So 10 is for B. Next, D is higher than B. So D is 8. For the column, we have D. A B is higher than D. So 4 is for B. And last, D is higher than B. So dog is higher than boy. So the 1 is for D. So if you add, this is 9. And this is 24. And this is 28. So the winner is candidate B. And last, C versus D. So we have C is higher than D, so 14 will be for C. Next, C is higher than D, so 10 is for C. D is higher than C, so 8 is for D. 
Next, D is higher than C, so 4 is for D. And last, C is higher than D, so 1 is for C. So this is now 12. And we have 25. So the winner is candidate C. Okay, so now let's review. So we have here. So candidate A, how many wins? Candidate A, no wins. So zero wins. Candidate B, we have one. Candidate B, we have one. Two. Okay, there are two wins. So we have these two. Candidate C, we have one, two, three. So three wins. And candidate D, only this one. win. Tara. So only one win. Okay, so for the winner, the one with the most number of wins is the winner. So candidate C, because candidate C has three wins. Okay, now let's go to our last example. So as the newest expansion team in NFL, the Los Angeles Lakers will be getting a number one pick in the upcoming draft. After narrowing the list of the candidates to four, okay, this is four players because I edited this one. Four players. So, which are Allen, Byers, Castillo, and Dixon. The coaches and the team executives meet to discuss the candidates and eventually choose the team's first pick. Okay, by the team rules, the choice must be made using the method of pairwise comparison. So let A be Allen, P be Byers, C be Castillo, and D be Dixon. So we have this preference schedule. Okay, so there are four choices. So again, so since there are four, four taken two, the same with example one, so there must be six matchups. So A versus B, so A is higher than B, so 2 is in favor of A. Next, B is higher than A, so 11 is in favor of B. Next, A is higher than B, so 1 is in favor of A. A is higher than B, so 4 is in favor of A. And last, B is higher than A, so 4 is in favor of B. If we add, this is 7, and this is 15. Okay, so obviously, B is the winner. Now, next, let's focus on A and C. A and C. A is higher than C, so 2 is for A. Next. A is again higher than C, so 11 is for A. Now C is higher than A, we have 1 is for C. C is higher than A, so 4 is for C. And C is higher than A, so 4 is for C. But if we add, this is 9, and this one is 13. So the highest, or the winner here for this matchup is A. Next. We have A versus D. So A is higher than D, so 2 is for A. Next, A is higher for D, higher than D, so we have 11 is for A. Next, A is higher than D, so 1 is for A. A is higher than D, so 4 is for A. And last, D is higher than A, so the last 4 is for D. So obviously, A is the winner. Next match up, B versus D, uh, B versus C. A, so a B and C. So C is higher than A. Ah, uh, C is higher than B, so 2 is for C. B is higher than C, so 11 is for B. Next, C is higher than B, so 1 is for C. 
C is higher than B, so 4 is for C, and C is higher than B, so 4 is for C. So if we add, we have 3, 7 plus 4, 11. So meaning it's a tie between the two. Next, we have B versus D. B and D. So B is higher than D, so B is 2. Or 2 is in favor of B. So this is typo error. So this is only 2. Next, B is higher than D. So 11 is for B. Next, B is higher than D, so 1 is for D. And for the next two, D is higher than B. So 4 plus 4 is for D. So obviously, this is just 8, and the other one is 14. So the winner is B. And last, we have C and D. C and D. So, C is higher than D, so we have 2. C is higher than D also, so 11 is in favor of C. C is higher than D, so 1 is in favor of C. C is higher than D, so 4 is in favor of C. D is higher than C, so 4 is in favor of D. Okay, so... 8 is not here, so it's typo error. So it should be 4. So by just looking at this, the winner is candidate C. So let's review. So there's no 8 here, and this is only uh, 2. So for Allen, for A, how many wins? We have 1, 2. There are 2 wins for candidate A. Now for buyers, we have 1, for B, we have 2, but there is a tie, so we have we must give 0.5 to B and to C. So we have, for B, we have this and this, so 1, 2.5, so we have 2.5 wins. For Castillo, letter C, is there a win for C? Okay, there is only one, this one. One win. And for D, 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 there is no win for D. So there are zero wins. Okay, so again, by just comparing the result, buyers is the greatest or the largest, or have the largest wins. So therefore, buyers is the number one. So I hope you have learned something about these five methods of voting. So thank you for listening.